Last year, TheMatani.com bringing a brand new video series today for H1Z1. This video series is going to include a weapons guide for all the weapons inside the game. We're going to start off with the AR-15 today. It is a semi-automatic rifle using 223 ammunition. It is an extremely effective and accurate weapon. We're going to divide this video into three different segments. Long range, medium range, and short range. I'll go through these different ranges and give you some tips and tricks on how to effectively use the rifle. A quick tip that I use to help determine how much I need to account for bullet drop at medium and long range is the reticule itself. At medium range, placing the reticule with the bottom of the circle touching the top of your target's head is roughly the perfect spot. For long range shots, move the reticle up higher so that the bottom of the reticle will be touching the top of your mid range reticle. To rephrase that, one dot above the head for medium range, two dots above the head for long range. The AR-15 takes four to five torso hits for a kill or one non-helmeted headshot. That's two with a helmet. I want to attempt to prevent bad habits, so we'll start by talking about the long range firing with the AR-15. In every battle where I play, I always end up fighting that guy who widely empties his magazine at long range as quickly as possible. This is a bad habit, don't do it. At long range, you want to fire at a slow and steady pace to maintain accurate shot placement. While firing, you should strafe left and right to force your opponent to correct their aim, hopefully causing them to over-aim like in the video being shown. Things speed up slightly at mid-range. You want to take your slow shots and increase your rate of fire slightly. You still aren't wildly emptying your magazine. And part of using the rifles in Asian Zealand is not panic. Sometimes rifle fights are like a game of chicken. Both sides are taking rounds, but the first person to quit firing and attempt to flee will typically die. At mid-range, you'll continue strafing whilst firing to not give the opponent an easy target. Close range with the AR-15 is the only time you'll want to use hip fire. Staying mobile and being a moving target is extremely important, especially if the other side is wielding a shotgun like the video being shown here. An important thing to note about the shotgun is if the user misses their first shot, you have to be sure to punish them. To the target in the video missing their first shot in round, I am able to get quite a few rounds off before the second shot is even fired. And due to my hip firing and strafing, he over aims to my left while I reverse my strafe to the right. Close range, you will aim for the upper chest level and pull down on your shots to counter recoil. This is the only time I would recommend maniacally emptying your magazine into the target. All of my shooting in today's video was in third person. I only use first person in very limited situations where I have to aim up or down at extreme angles. When aiming at these steep angles, your character's body blocks the camera, making it impossible to see your reticle in the third person. As always, the best way to improve is to actually jump into some battle royales and practice. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it and share it. To stay up to date for our future content, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Dematani TV, and for the latest in gaming and news articles, click the link in the description below. For your weekly H1Z1 streaming content, be sure to tune into our Twitch channel, Dematani.com.